for this man? You did this to me? Oh, we've just started in this house. doing oh i really miss you oh what are you up to in this lockdown wow really really good at least we have the guys around this time <laughs> i trust you oh this covid is a total blessing for me and my family do you know that my husband also has been laid off who we'll have ourselves together who we'll have my husband to myself i've not been seeing him oh yeah every time walk 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 but now i can have him oh yeah oh yes you know i'm an essential worker so i'm going home now but at least i will have enough time for him yeah thank you oh yeah thank you Sister Linda. No, no, no. This is this is David. She's she's having a personal study. What? Uh, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down, cal calm down. Uh, sweetheart, you have to stop what you're doing. You have to stop what you're doing. Oh really? Yeah. She needs she needs us. She needs us now, please. Yes. Always fighting. 
hope this COVID is all over so that he doesn't come back. Let's see that. A bit will be fine. You need your daddy at home. Don't say that. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I was actually here on my way out, but come in. Oh my God, Sister Linda, what's this? What's going on? John, when did it degenerate to this point that you have to beat your wife? You've always loved her. David, I'm tired. I mean, I am sick and tired of all this. Ever since we lost our jobs and um, the pressure has been too much on me. See who's talking. We both lost our jobs. Remember, we work at the same place. So what is it? You don't understand. David, she doesn't understand. Now that I'm at home with her because of this COVID, she's always sending me on errands. John, can you go and do the groceries? John, can you go and do this? John, get me some water. For heaven's sake, that's too much. <laughs> It's okay. It's just the trick of the devil. It's just the trick of the devil. <laughs> you really, really have to pray. You oh, really, really have to pray. Don't cannot, even go there at all. He won't allow, allow us to pray you together. We can to study the Bible together to call the children as a priest of the house. Too much. If not for this COVID, will I be at home with her with and take all this nonsense? She's your helpmate. So? You've been married for so many years. And this is about the first time she's seeking that favor from you. Excuse me. It's okay. <laughs> My friend is calling me. Hello? Just forget it. I don't want to hear about it. I'm just tired. I think I'm going to quit. You, you have to forgive him. I understand you. But you have to forgive him. It's a commandment from God. Forgive us, O oh Lord, our trespasses, as we forgive those who, for, who trespass against us. I understand you. You take care of yourself, all right? You call me back. You and I have always been at work. We hardly come home. Now that we are home, we're supposed to bond with our wives. This is the time for you to bond with your wife. Do things together. I do groceries with my wife. We do laundry together. We stay in the kitchen together. We do everything together. Come up, th come up that bossy attitude of yours. What's that? I don't know. Now listen, I was far away from the lover of my soul. But during this COVID period, I've been able to pray. We've been able to pray and bond more. And I tell you, a business idea just came to my mind. It was so powerful. And I was thinking of making you a business partner. 
I mean, man. Tell me about it. Hmm? See his mouth. Oh, you like money. Who doesn't? I know. We have to pay bills. Exactly. But be ready to settle with your wife. This is not good. You're a child of God. Are you ready to do this? I don't know what actually came over me. Huh? I'll talk to her. I will. My oh, Father, my God, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for your son, God. Thank you, Lord, because he's ready to change, Lord God Almighty. Touch him and deliver him now, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. My brother, make up your mind. God bless you. Hmm. You. Yes, you. Is this kind of thing happening in your home? This is the time to behave right. Many homes are scattered today because they don't live together. No family altar. They don't even bond together. But the recent pandemic has really brought so many families together. And you're able to look inwards to make decisions and make quality decisions in the presence of God. We are all aware of the devices of the enemy. His plan is to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come to give us life everlasting. That is why it is important for you to know that the devil does not like your union as a couple. He has a last minute agenda at this time. His plan is to destroy homes. Because you and your spouse form a cell in the church because you are a recognized institution by God. He does not want your prayers to be answered. That's why he brings in hate, malice, all kinds of evil in the marriage so that when you pray, God does not answer. And by extension, because you form a strong pillar in the church, God forbid that the church prayers will not be answered as well. Brethren, make amends. Love your wife. If you do not love God, you cannot love another person. So if you claim to love God, then love your spouse. God bless you. As you can see, this home has been settled right now. My brother, Again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. <laughs> <laughs>